Spencer Pearson is scheduled to appear before judge tomorrow morning. He was booked into the St. Johns County Jail today on attempted murder and aggravated assault charges after he was released from the hospital. On your side, Taylor Levesque joins us live in the studio with an update. Taylor? The St. Johns County Sheriff's Office says Pearson is being held in special housing because of his risk of self-harm. He has access to mental health professionals who will meet with him, with him, but he is being held on no bond, and his appearance in court Saturday will be the first of many expected hearings. This mugshot of 18-year-old Spencer Pearson taken Friday shows a bandage and stitches, which we have blurred on his neck from self-inflicted wounds. The incident report says Pearson cut his own throat after stabbing his ex-girlfriend, 17-year-old Madison Shemitz, and injuring her mother and a bystander who jumped in to help. He's probably under some type of 24-hour watch. And it's probably due in fact that for the fact that he tried to kill himself. First Coast News crime and safety expert Mark Bachman says Pearson will likely undergo a psychological evaluation. They ask him a number of questions just to determine uh, sanity, basically. Uh, I understand right from wrong. Less than a week before the stabbing, Shemit's mother, Jackie Roger, filed a complaint against Pearson for harassing her daughter, saying she had concerns about his mental health. Roger accused Pearson of following Shemit's to school, leaving notes on her vehicle and harassing her on social media using fake accounts. That shows premeditation on his part that he intended to do something like this, probably. It was leading up to it. When we spoke to Shemit's sister a few weeks ago, she told First Coast News Shemit suffered damage to her spinal cord. Her mom was stabbed in the forehead and leg and underwent surgery. We do not know the progress of how both are recovering from their injuries. The St. Johns County Sheriff's Office says minor treatment to Pearson's injuries will be done in the jail, but he will be transported to the hospital for any specialized treatment. As for Pearson's future, if convicted, and the sentencing guidelines could be 25 years easy. He's looking at a substantial amount of time in, in prison if he gets convicted of these charges. Pearson will appear before a St. Johns County judge Saturday morning at 830. First Coast News will be there. In the studio, Taylor Levesque, First Coast News on your side. Taylor, thank you. Tonight we